Imagine a world where organ transplants are no longer a waiting game, where the hope of a life-saving organ isn't overshadowed by the fear of time running out. It might sound like something out of a medical thriller, but what if I told you that future is closer than you think? Today we're exploring groundbreaking biotechnologies that could potentially end the shortage of organs using nothing more than skin and urine cells. You heard that right. The very things our bodies discard could hold the key to growing personalized organs, eliminating the risk of rejection and transforming the future of transplantation. Just like squeezing out a stubborn blackhead, scientists are uncovering the hidden potential within our own bodies. It's a fascinating journey into the microscopic world of cells and the incredible power they possess to heal and regenerate. Get ready to have your minds blown, folks, because we're diving deep into the cutting edge of organ regeneration. Now before we can build a house, we need a blueprint, right? The same goes for growing organs. That's where single-cell RNA sequencing, or SCI-RNA-SEC for short, comes in. Think of it like a super-powered microscope that allows scientists to analyze the genetic makeup of individual cells. Imagine being able to zoom in on a single cell, like a tiny little factory, and see exactly which genes are turned on and off. That's what SCI-RNA-SEC does. It's like eavesdropping on the conversations happening inside each cell, giving us a detailed understanding of its unique identity and function. This is huge for organ development because it allows scientists to identify the precise types of cells needed to build different organs. We're talking about identifying the specific cells that make up the lining of your lungs or the filtering units of your kidneys. It's like having a parts list for a complex machine, but instead of nuts and bolts, we're talking about living, breathing cells. And here's the really cool part. SCAR-NA-SEC can also track how these cells change over time like watching a time-lapse video of a single cell transforming into a specialized unit within an organ. This helps us understand the step-by-step -step process of organ development, kind of like a recipe book for growing a heart or a liver from scratch. With this knowledge, scientists can then identify the signals and cues that prompt cells to become specific organ cells, which brings us one step closer to recreating this process in the lab. It's like understanding the language that cells use to communicate and then using that language to direct them to build what we need. Think about it. This technology has the potential to revolutionize not just organ transplantation, but our entire approach to medicine. Imagine being able to grow healthy tissues to repair damaged hearts after a heart attack or replace diseased lung tissue in patients with cystic fibrosis. The possibilities are truly mind-blowing, and we're just at the tip of the iceberg. As scientists continue to refine ski rna sec technology and unlock the secrets hidden within our cells, we can expect even more groundbreaking discoveries in the field of regenerative medicine. So, the next time you think about throwing out your trash, remember this. Those discarded cells might just hold the key to a future where organ failure is a thing of the past. Now imagine you have all the building blocks, the cells, ready to go. You wouldn't just throw them together in a pile and expect them to magically form a functional organ, right? They need a framework, a structure to guide their growth and organization. That's where bioengineered scaffolds come into play. Think of these scaffolds as the scaffolding you see around a building under construction. They provide support and shape to the developing organ, but these aren't your average construction materials. We're talking about intricate, three-dimensional structures made from biocompatible materials that mimic the natural environment of the human body. These materials are carefully chosen for their ability to interact with cells in a way that promotes healthy growth and development. Some are designed to dissolve over time, leaving behind a fully formed organ, while others provide long-term support, like a permanent internal cast. But here's the really cool part. These scaffolds can be customized to the specific organ being created. Need a scaffold for a heart? Scientists can create one that mimics the intricate network of chambers and valves. Looking to grow a new kidney? They can design a scaffold that replicates the delicate filtering units within the organ. And it gets even more impressive. Scientists can even seed these scaffolds with different types of cells and specific patterns, kind of like creating a cellular roadmap for the organ to follow as it grows. This level of precision is crucial for creating complex organs with multiple cell types and intricate structures. Imagine building a house where the walls know to become walls, the windows know to become windows, and the plumbing magically assembles itself in the right places. That's the level of sophistication we're talking about with bioengineered scaffolds. It's like giving the cells a blueprint and the building materials all in one. And as our ability to manipulate and fine-tune these scaffolds continues to improve, 
so too will our ability to create more complex and functional organs in the lab. Now, we've got our blueprint from SkiRNA-Sec and our scaffolding from bioengineering, but how do we actually direct the cells to become the specific types of cells we need for a functional organ? How do we tell a skin cell to become a heart cell or a urine cell to become a kidney cell? That's where the magic of small molecules and designer proteins comes in. Think of these molecules as the conductors of an orchestra, each one carrying a specific message that influences cell behavior. By carefully selecting and combining these molecular messengers, scientists can direct stem cells, those blank slates of the body, to differentiate or specialize into the desired cell types. Small molecules are like tiny chemical signals that can slip inside cells and flip specific genetic switches, turning genes on or off to guide cell fate. They're like subtle cues that nudge the cells in the right direction, encouraging them to follow a particular path of development. Designer proteins, on the other hand, are like molecular machines engineered to perform specific tasks within the cell. They can deliver signals, activate pathways, or even modify the physical structure of the cell itself, all in the service of guiding cell differentiation. It's like having a team of microscopic construction workers, each with a specialized skill set, working together to build the different components of the organ. One protein might be responsible for promoting cell division, while another encourages cells to bind together and form tissues. By carefully controlling the timing and concentration of these molecular cues, scientists can orchestrate a symphony of cellular activity, guiding the development of complex tissues and organs with remarkable precision. It's like composing a piece of music, but instead of notes we're using molecules to create a masterpiece of cellular engineering. And as our understanding of cellular communication and signaling pathways deepens, so too will our ability to develop even more sophisticated and effective methods for directing cell fate. We're essentially learning to speak the language of cells, and in doing so, unlocking the incredible potential of regenerative medicine. So far, we've talked about building organs from the ground up, but what if we could harness the body's own regenerative power to heal and repair damaged organs? That's where exosomes come in, tiny packages of information that cells use to communicate with each other, kind of like little cellular couriers delivering messages throughout the body. Imagine these exosomes as tiny bubbles, so small they make a red blood cell look gigantic. Don't let their size fool you though, they're packed with information carrying proteins, genetic material and other molecules that can influence the behavior of recipient cells. Think about it, your cells are in constant communication with each other, sending out signals that dictate everything from growth and development to immune response and tissue repair. Exosomes are one of the ways they achieve this intricate communication network. Now, here's where it gets really exciting for organ transplantation. Scientists are discovering that exosomes derived from healthy cells can actually promote regeneration and repair in damaged tissues. They're like little repair crews, carrying blueprints and tools to help damaged cells heal themselves. Imagine collecting exosomes from a healthy liver and delivering them to a patient with liver disease. These exosomes could potentially deliver regenerative signals, promoting the growth of healthy liver tissue and restoring function to the damaged organ. And the best part? Because exosomes are naturally produced by the body, they have a lower risk of triggering an immune response, which is a major hurdle in organ transplantation. It's like having a universal donor, readily available and compatible with any recipient. The potential of exosomes in regenerative medicine is truly vast. From treating heart disease and spinal cord injuries to repairing damaged kidneys and even reversing the effects of aging, Exosomes could hold the key to unlocking a new era of personalized and highly effective therapies. Wow, what a journey into the microscopic world of cells and the groundbreaking technologies that are revolutionizing organ transplantation. From decoding the blueprint of life with SkiRNA Sec to building the perfect cellular homes with bioengineered scaffolds, and from directing the orchestra of life with small molecules and designer proteins, to harnessing the body's own tiny messengers of regeneration with exosomes, we've explored the cutting edge of regenerative medicine. What do you think about these technologies? Could they be the future of organ transplants? Share your thoughts in the comments below. I'm eager to hear your perspectives on this exciting and rapidly evolving field. Don't forget to subscribe to MedSign Health 360 for more insightful videos on medical and health advancements. Give us a thumbs up if you found this video informative, and remember, your health is your wealth.